everyone and welcome back to SK One Kids. I am Sarum Khan, a student of seventh standard, and today we are gonna be discussing about three scientists who really won Nobel Prize in 2021 in the field of physics, and we are also going to discuss about why they actually won the Nobel Prize in physics this year on 5th of October 2021, and we are also going to discuss about the share of prize and things like that first of all let me name all the three scientists that those are actually Siokuro Manabi, Klaus Hazelman and Giorgio Parisi. So actually what happens this whole thing is related to weather and climate and things like that. So you may call it things like that. Siokuro Manabe what was his original discovery that actually led him to win the Nobel Prize in field of physics which is one of the in fact the most prestigious award in physical sciences awarded to anyone even natural sciences and say things like that so you get it for things like physics chemistry medicine literature and a lot of things like that in fact there are six fields in which you can win Nobel Prize and even peace so we are particularly discussing about physics and there are three scientists who shared the prize in physics as one by four, one by four and as a whole one by two finally. So here we just come to it. So Siokuro Manabe, what he did, did he discover actually? Manabe actually discovered things like this, that how a change in the level of carbon dioxide in the layer of our atmosphere over the surface of Earth can result to the change or say to a change in say things like temperature at the surface of earth because we know temperature of the at the surface of earth may vary due to global warming and things like that so a change in carbon dioxide level results to a change in temperature and this is very revolutionizing discovery in things like climate and weather and things like that if we talk about Hazelman what did he discover? Hazelman actually related weather and climate and he also answered the question why is climate so reliable well why is weather so chaotic. So that is the thing that Hazelman actually discovered and it is also very revolutionizing thing. We can eventually guess that all the three discoveries of those three great physicists were very revolutionizing. That's why they won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2021 as we know that actually per day there are a lots of new researches in the field of even say physics or as a whole science or natural sciences. But they everybody in them don't win the Nobel Prize. Why so? Because only that research will be given and that scientist will be given Nobel Prize who really think about our society, about our planet, about humanity and things like that. So who do some Something really great and appreciable the way Albert Einstein did in the field of photoelectric effect or say CV Raman did for Raman effect or Subramanian Chandrasekhar in the field of black holes and astrophysics. So those are in their own field that is climate physics. Then comes Giorgio Parsi. Now Parsi, his discovery is one of the most revolutionizing discovery even in all of climate physics. And he actually led to the discovery of interplay of disorder and fluctuations in physical systems from atomic to even planetary scales. So that was actually his discovery and it is the most revolutionizing. In fact, presently the discoveries that have been made and that led him to win the Nobel Prize. Say, a share, a share at least of Nobel Prize, even a little piece, say one by hundredth of a Nobel Prize is even a great thing. This is just nomination that he got just one by four and he got one by two or one by ten and things like that. But even if you're nominated to Nobel Prize, so that's a really great and appreciable thing. So that really means that your discovery was successful and you have really become a successful scientist or if that's field of uh, literature, so that's poet or writer and things like that. We are particularly discussing about physics and natural sciences. So that's physicist or a chemist and things like that psychologist, biologist and who gets med medicine. So here talking about Manabe. So Manabe got one over four share of the Nobel Prize. So that I guess is 0 0.25. So half half of the Nobel Prize. While Hazelman also got one by four. So Manabe and Hazelman together got one by two, the half share of the Nobel Prize and Parisi got the other half share of the Nobel Prize. So we just see that Parisi share is equal to Manabe and Hazelman's share combined. But 
that's not just that Parisi is you can be comparing is greater than Hazelman and Manape. I don't consider it that way. In fact, he just scored something a bit higher. But that doesn't mean that Manabe and Hazelman are nothing before Parisi. Instead, all scientists are equal. Their discoveries are equal. At least when we talk about Nobel Prize in physics, that was my opinion on them. And I also, it's my dream to win a Nobel Prize in physics for my own discoveries. And my particular favorite discovery that I want to discover is the unified field theory, the theory of everything, quantum theory of gravity. And you may call it with a certain loads of names. Hawking called it the theory of everything. Einstein, the unified field theory. Some say it is a string theory, but I'm not quite sure about a string theory. So I'll be particularly working on my own. But if a string theory really works, I'll be friendly towards it but that was just all my own opinion on Nobel Prize in Physics 2021 and thanks to all of us and Jai Hind Jai Bharat.